Let's get to politics. An old video of Kamala Harris from 2017 is once again turning heads. Watch as then-Senator Harris melted down over people saying Merry Christmas because illegal immigrants didn't have protections. Roll it. And only when they cleared that vet did we give them DACA status. And now we're talking about taking it away. It is morally wrong. And when we all sing happy tunes and sing Merry Christmas and wish each other Merry Christmas, these children are not going to have a Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? They will not have a Merry Christmas. Tammy Bruce joins us now, thank goodness. Uh, the, you know, another rollback is in order here, isn't it? How is she going to do this? Yeah, How is she going to roll back a statement like that? That is her in her natural environment, what, 2017, where no adjustments were having to be made. That's who you've got. And the problem is, of course, we're seeing the results now when an administration lies to you. When they lied to get into the office, when, when the, she and others lied about the condition of the president of the United States, and then, you know, we, we felt, oh, well, Trump seems to be really well ahead of Biden. The, I, we know the markets like stability and somewhat some predictability. And then suddenly Kamala Harris comes up and is presenting herself as Trump with the flip-flops on the positions. The important thing is, is that the re Republicans have to make clear what Trump was able to do, where things do stand right now. And even though Americans don't need that, because as your opening noted, they experience it every single day, right? With the market, the groceries, it, it's undeniable. And this now, for some reason, there was this idea that this would somehow stop maybe the anticipation of Trump. But the fact of the matter is no regulations have changed. Neither Biden or Harris have done anything to change this trajectory. And Americans are feeling it. And now it's a matter of, well, who is lying to me? Why do they keep doing this? Because something's gone wrong. And let's not you know, ignore the fact that this doesn't even figure in what's happening in the Middle East and what would happen with the price of oil and the nature of, of the cost of war, et cetera. So it's going to be a surprise. And people have to ask themselves, who is best suited to get us out of this morass? Good question. Uh, let's uh, change the subject for a second. Donald Trump spoke to Mark Zuckerberg after Meta and Google censored that iconic photo. Watch this. So Mark Zuckerberg called me. First of all, he called me a few times. He called me after the event and he said that was really amazing. It was very brave. And, you know, and he actually announced he's not going to support a Democrat because he can't because he respected me for what I did that day. I think what I did maybe was a norm. To me, it was a normal response. But I was called by Mark Zuckerberg yesterday, the day before, on this same subject. And he actually apologized. He said they made a mistake, et cetera, et cetera, and they're correcting the mistake. Uh, Google, nobody called from Google. You surprised that Zuckerberg apologized to Trump? Uh, no, I think that there is everyone is looking in the transactional relationships of who is likely to be president. And that was such an outrageous thing to have happen. What did it, it lasted a week or two? It was like it was a deliberate attempt, and not just Meta, and not not just a G, Chat GPT, and not not just Google. It seemed like all, everyone was on the same line. Now, isn't that strange? We all know about the Twitter files, and and the FBI and the DOJ has announced they're going to be going back to social media to once again talk with them, but not violate the First Amendment about you know threats to the election. That is a very big red flag, especially when you've got the major tech companies all working to memory hole a major an assassination attempt against a, a former president and the, and the front runner for, for 24. And so you know, I think that there's an understanding that maybe Trump isn't going away. Maybe he is going to win. Maybe he's not going to be in prison. And, the, and I worry, though, because the Secret Service doesn't seem to be interested in really changing things. We're not out of those woods. People, including Kamala Harris, everyone in the arena politically is at risk. And so there's so many unknowns here. But Zuckerberg, how, how dare they do this in trying to change an environment of pretending something like that never happened because it becomes more dangerous because then nobody feels that there's anything to fix. They're spinning it in favor of the Democrats. That's it. That's correct. Tell me on a Friday morning. All this good stuff. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed.